Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to read and loop through keyframes of any property you want. So we're going to be using this sample project where I just have some keyframes on the position of this square. And what I'm going to do when I run the script is it's going to alert each of the keyframes for me and what their actual value is. So the first keyframe I get 960 by 540 and 0 for the Z position. And I can go through and get all of the exact values. And then I can go in and change something, like if I added um, some scale keyframes, I could go in and type in whatever property I want or loop through the properties and then be able to get the information about that next property. Before we get started with this quick tip, I just want to remind you down below to hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out on Monday and Thursday every week. Down in the description, you can check out the GitHub to follow and get more code similar to this project, except more complex projects, of course. And down in the description, you can also follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to join the Discord where we're almost 100 members strong and we have mods coming up and lots of active discussion and questions going on currently. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new script and this is going to be a very quick script. The first thing we need to do is have a layer or properties that we're going to loop through. So first thing I'm going to do is say layer is equal to our app.project. The active item we're going to assume they have a composition active here in the viewer and then in my case you could do the selected layers or the layer index. And in my case, I have just one layer, so I'm just going to say layer one. But if you were actually using selected layers, you could say dot selected layers, and you could get the first selected layer or whichever one you want. So I have a variable for my layer. Now I need a variable for whichever property has keyframes. In my case, I'm just going to hard code it. So I'll say keyed prop, so for the keyframe property, is going to be equal to our layer dot property. And in my case, I'm going to be looking at the values inside of the transform window. And to access the transform window, we just need to say Adobe transform group, because this is a group under our layer called transform. And we're using the match name so it works in any language. Then we'll grab whatever next property we want. Most people usually just put in scale or position. But again, we're going to use the match name, which starts with Adobe. And then it goes down and we can say whatever the value is. So in this case, position. So this code will give us our layer, which is going to be right here, and whatever custom property we've set it to, in our case, position. We already know there's keyframes. Uh, so now what we're going to do is create a for loop and loop through everything. But actually, we don't want to always loop through it. Let's just go ahead and check if the property first has keyframes. So I'm going to surround this all in an if statement. And I'm going to say if our keyed property, which again is whatever we give it here, and now we need to check if it has keyframes. The way we check if it has keyframes is by using the property called num keys. If I type in dot num keys for any property, so if I had the scale property or the rotation property, this would give me the number of keyframes applied. If it gives you zero, then you obviously have no keyframes, and it's just using the sort of static value that isn't animated. But if the keys, the number of keys is greater than zero, that means there's at least one keyframe. And that's what we want to do. We want to loop through those keyframes. So if the property we've gotten has more than zero keys, we're going to loop through them. And the way we'll do that is just create a for loop for i starting at one. And for i is less than our keyed property dot num keys, we'll use that same property call, we'll increment i by one. And now what we can do is just alert whatever the value is. So I'm going to grab my keyed prop. And the way we grab the keyframe value based on the index is by saying key value, and then you give it the index. If it was the first keyframe, you could give it a one. If it was the second keyframe, you could give it a two. But in our case, we're looping through, so we'll give it i, which each iteration through will give us whatever one is looking at. Have my layer. So now if I go ahead and run this script, it should give me my first keyframe, my second keyframe, my third keyframe, and now my fourth keyframe. And all those values are accurate. If you want to get the time at which a keyframe occurs, you can call key time instead of key value. And now if I run this, it's going to give me the times at which they occur in seconds. So it will give you some decimals if it's in several frames. 
But that's actually going to do it for this quick tip tutorial. I just wanted to quickly go over how to loop through and read keyframes of any property. All you need to do is store that property, check if it has keys, and if it does, loop through the num keys. You can get the values or times of those specific keyframes and manipulate that data later however you wish. But that's going to do it for this week's quick tip video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly, and of course, hit the thumbs up button to let me know you liked the video. In the description, you can follow us on GitHub to check out and follow us for more code. You can also follow us down below on Instagram. And of course, make sure you follow us on the Discord where we're having active discussions to get scripting, extensions, plugins, and expressions help. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.